Hey, what's up, YouTube? Stacking and packing here. Today we've got another thousand dollar half dollar hunt. We actually have a little bit over a thousand dollars, and I'll get into that in a second. But we got two boxes here of NF string and sun rolls. So let's go ahead and get into what we've got. So box number one, we're gonna have seven semi heavy, sorry, slightly heavy rolls, not semi heavy, slightly heavy rolls. Box number two, we're gonna have two semi heavy rolls, and we're gonna have eight slightly heavy rolls. Box number two, we're also gonna have four. Well, I just put them on box number two, but we're gonna have four half dollar rolls here that I picked up near my work. And two of them are, well, one's heavy and one is slightly heavy. I did open all of these rolls already, so I know what's in there, but we're gonna open them up live for you guys anyways at the end because we do have something cool in there. So let's go ahead and open up the first couple of rolls of box number one since we don't have too many heavy rolls. We'll do the first three rolls now, I did want to bring something up to you guys. I'm currently in the process of monetizing my channel. My channel was monetized back in 2016, I believe, and that was up until 2018. And then as you guys know, I kind of stopped posting videos on YouTube for a little while. So it went back to not being monetized and I had to go through the process of getting it monetized again. So we're in the early stages of that and I just want some input from you guys on feedback about memberships for the channel. There's, okay three guys, sorry I had to pause right there. Nothing in roll number two, but there's three different levels we can go with or membership categories we can go with. Level one has one tier to it. Level two has three different tiers to it. And level three has four different tiers. The tiers, I can probably leave a breakdown in the comment section of what they are. And I think YouTube just has a set price for all of them and how that works. So I could leave that down in the comment section and then you guys can just reply to that and see everything and see what you guys would be most interested in if you're interested in becoming a member of the channel. Obviously right now you guys are all already subscribed and members to the channel, but this is um, so, sort of like a paid thing on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, then you can do that. But like I said, I'll have that in the comment section so you guys can read up on what that entails and if you're interested in that. And if you're not interested in that, either way, just let me know what you guys think would be the best option and I'll set that up. So roll number five, and let's see if there's anything in roll five. If not, we'll go ahead and cut off and then I'll get into the rest of the box off camera. So I'm not seeing anything here in roll number five. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off here. I'll go through the rest of the box and I'll bring you guys in for our first find or I'll see you guys at the heavy rolls. Okay guys, so far no silver for box number one. So let's go ahead and get into our heavy rolls here. We're gonna start with a, let's see. It should be a 225.7. We'll wait up one more time. Okay, it's coming in at 225.6. So originally it was a 225.7. We didn't have too many heavy rolls on the box, so we did take those 225.7s and threw them in with our slightly heavies. So we'll see if we can pull anything out. Another 225.6, it seems like. I'm gonna turn this scale off and turn it back on, see if we got any update on the weight. There we go. So I guess it just wasn't calibrated properly, but it's a 225.7. So let's see. And I'm not seeing anything in that roll. So let's keep on going. Another 225.7, like I said, we didn't really have too many actual slightlies or semis or even heavies. That 1972 has the FG. So there we go, we got a 225.9. So we'll crack open these rolls. We'll get into the first two rolls of box number one, and then we'll cut off and go through the rest of the box. Sorry, box number two. Another 225.9. 
and then we'll save those customer wrap rolls for last. Two twenty-five point eight. So far, nothing there. And our final slightly heavy is a 225.9. And I'm not seeing anything there. And that 1972 has the FG. So let's go ahead and crack open the first two rolls of box number two and see if we got anything in there hopefully we can pull out some silver from box number two this way we can add some to our jar but if not we still have those customer wrap rolls to get through so i'm going to go ahead and double check all these off camera make sure we didn't miss anything and I'll start in with the rest of the box. So nothing in this second roll for box number two. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off here. And I'll see you guys at our first find. Okay, guys. So far, we have this one find from box number two. It's going to be a silver-plated 1972 Denver. And it does have the FG. And it's silver-plated. So this one's just going to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the side. And let's go ahead and get into our heavy rolls here. We'll start off with our slightly heavies, and we're going to have a 227 to start. So far, nothing in this roll. So we're getting to that next roll, 225.7 as well. We should be picking up, I believe, four more boxes tomorrow. So hopefully those boxes will be pretty good maybe we'll get some heavy rolls out of those and pull out some silver but we still have the rest of these slightlys to go through and we have two semis to go through and then we're gonna have some heavies in those customer wrap rolls so let's keep on going so we can get to those those are our fun rolls like I said, I already went through them and I'm just saving them for you guys now. So let's see if we can pull anything out before we get into those rolls. Nothing there. 225.8. Nothing there. I'm going to move my scale over a little bit. Let's get into the next one. 225.7. So one more. Slightly heavy after this one. And then we'll get into our semis. Another 225.8. That ender looks like a 72. Let's see. 74. I was going to say or a 1974. So let's get into our semis now. We're going to start with 226 on the dot. And I don't see anything here. It's not silver and that's not a proof. So let's get into that last one, 226 as well. And then we'll make our way into those last couple of rolls there. So let's get into our customer wrap rolls. So far, no silver for the hunt with our bank wrap rolls. So let's get into these customer wrap rolls. And I don't remember who says it, but they say when there's tape on these rolls, 
usually indicates something good. So if I can get it open at least. And I'm not seeing anything here. It's a beat up newer one. So nothing there. 225.1. We have four rolls, so that's why I'm going through them live. Even though two of them are going to be the rolls that we're looking out for. So there should be that. Okay, this is the 228, so we'll save that to last. And then we have a 225.7. Let's weigh it up one more time because I believe it originally weighed at 225.8. Yeah, 225.8. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right. And we're going to have silver in this one. It's going to be a 40 percenter. Like I said, I did cheat. I already looked. So let's pull it out with the rest of the side. We've got this 1968 Denver from the customer wrap roll. So we'll take it, 40%er for the board. And as you guys have already seen, when we weighed up that other roll, it came in at 228. So that's pretty heavy. So let's wait up one more time, 228 on the dot. Let's go ahead and crack it open. It's gonna be a good roll. I'm sure you guys just heard that difference in sound. Let's see if we can, I'm sure you heard it again. And again for a second time. So when I did open up this roll the first time, I was pretty surprised. We have two 90 percenters in this roll. So here's our first one. It's a 1964. This one's going to be a Denver. And you guys know all too well that we usually don't find those 1964 Denvers too often. And then I'm sure you guys have seen that second one from the edge. So let's go ahead and pull it out. It has some interesting toning on it. And it's a 1964. Let's see if it's got a mint mark. I don't see one. Let me take a peek off camera. And I don't see one off camera. So this one's going to be a Philly. So we got the Denver and the Philly. So we'll take it. We got two 90 percenters for the hunt. So let me go ahead, double check all these rolls, make sure we didn't miss anything. And then I'll bring you guys in for the wrap up. Okay, guys, so we didn't miss anything in any of those rolls, so let's go ahead and get into our wrap-up. We got three more pieces of silver to add to our jar for the month of October. We had a 1964 Denver, and we got another 1964. This one's going to be a Philly. So two 90 percenters and a 40 percenter, so we'll take it. And then finally, that 40 percenter, which is going to be a 1968 Denver. So we'll take it for sure. Customer wrap rolls definitely paid off. Let's go ahead and add our silver to the jar for the month of October. So three more pieces to the jar. So that's awesome. We'll take it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below, as well as leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on our next hunt.